What's up guys, so in today's video, I will be showing you the body armor I have made. So, let me show you it and just load it in real quick. It's loading in. So these signs are just like, just saying, so yeah, the orange is just, well, it's not orange anymore, but yeah. Because I have switches up there, and the color of the switches mean whatever these mean. Well, I already know the controls. Of course I do, because I have made it. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. So let me get into it, and see you then. Okay, guys, now I am in the bodysuit. And you can see I'm walking, everything works as normal. The only thing that is a little weird, see, like, you can see, like, the little bit of movement is a little. So, first is, you could go up slowly. It's slow. This is, like, fast going up. And here's slow going forward, or technically this way. There's fast. And also, yes, you also you can fly with this, by the way. This is probably one of the best things I've ever made in this game. So next, you see this yellow switch? I hit this. Give it a few seconds. See, like, the little particles in there? Then I hit this red switch. And shoot. So this is like a cannon. Here, I could show you. So, I have it going under the ground. I have the collusions off. I'll talk about that more in like a few minutes or, or so. And this one, if I click that one, you can't exactly see the particles because it doesn't have any. Yeah, it's up. So, I I put mini guns on here too. There's a total of four mini guns and total of 10. Wait, no. It's like a total of like, I can't think of it now. I'm pretty sure four cannons. Yeah, four cannons. A total of four cannons. So yeah, I could just go up, do that, and turn off this one. And look, I'm not even touching it. You could just fly. But also, you could think of this, like, as a super jump if you really want to. I might add, like, another, like, one right here, maybe. I might just do that in the future, but I still don't know. Like, see on the side, it looks, like, very light. Very, like, but it's not really. So, yeah. I made even, like, all, like all of the... I tried to put a good amount of detail into it. Or some... I know it might be a little bit short right there, but yeah. Yeah, the legs do stick out for a tiny bit, but. And also, guys, you can't. Or this. You can take damage. You can. But see, I'm not taking any damage. If I was taking damage, there'd be like a little green bar right here. That's showing like it would be going down. See, and look, I'm, I'm not even touching it. And it, it, see, it is moving back like a very tiny bit, but like, that's another advantage with this bodysuit. And also, this thing can protect you by a few ways, by getting, if you have this suit on, you cannot get flinged with just like a cannon. If you have it on, you can get flinged. And also, this can probably survive about like, five or ten cannon shots or something it depends really how thick you make it and like how many layers you have i have i have like 10 layers on this thing so i guess let me reload it and show and i can show you all the mechanics this bodysuit is actually pretty simple to be honest this isn't really that hard to understand 
I would say it's pretty simple to make. I'm pretty sure you could probably just copy this video and just look at it and you could probably make it. And also guys, I think I will be probably doing a video on this bodysuit. Or technically you could also just call it Iron Man if you really want to because it could fly and it can shoot weapons. Or yeah, it has weapons. Okay, now it's done loading. Here, let me turn transparent transparency. I can't talk right now. Sorry about that. But yeah, here's the mini guns too right here. And make sure... <clears throat> I should forget about that. What I just said for now. Yeah, two mini guns on this side. Two mini guns on this side. Here's like two cannons right here. Two cannons on here. I, I, you could really just have one piston. But, but I'll per... Well, you could really even have more than two, to be honest, but I would just prefer to have at least two, in my opinion, just because, like, if, if it's, like, decently under the ground, yeah, yeah, I got a total of two, four, six, eight, I got a total of eight pistons, yeah, and I have this thing right here that goes across the whole thing, and I, if you're wondering how this was floating, I just have these two and i just made them fully invisible with occlusions off and then these two back like gold plates i just made them like like 50 percent invisible or something transparency and the button wait no actually the buttons and the back of it were like 75 and there's two jets right here two jets right here yeah, make sure to have this, like, low as possible, but, like, touching, like, so as, like, this tube is, like, I had, like, the minigun, like, like, yeah, it's so connected to this, I just had it over more, because when I had that connected, the cannons wouldn't go down, or just this side, so I had to fix that, and I did, and next, you could, yeah, you jump in. This is probably the easiest way to do it. You go inside it. Then, like, you would have a chair right here. Even if you're in first person, you you can you can't really see out. But that's not the main point of it exactly. Just mainly to yeah, it's cool and fun to do. You have a seat, then here are the things you can use for the seat. I know. If, for fact, you can use glue and cake, but if you really did, I'd prefer to use cake overall than glue. Because somebody could just, like, click the glue, and it could break the whole thing. But if you have cake, nobody can really click it, or unless it, if somebody, like, breaks it with a cannon or something. So, like, you just aim down, and hold on. I need to fix my mouse. Okay, then you just look down and place it. Then you go. Then then you delete the seat. But, and also guys, I'm pretty, I don't know, 100%. I think hinges might work. Maybe. I, I don't know exactly. If you try this, you can comment down below in the video and tell me if it does work if you do try it. So next I do delete that, delete this. It's not like you have to delete the whole ramp. Then I unanchor it. And if you do want to make this, I'm not saying you have to have all tools. The only tool you really don't have to have is like the the color tool and the tape measure tool. But I'd still prefer all tools, at least except for the color one. But, but you could so yeah definitely use it but i actually no i guess you would kind of want to use it because the colors why you don't really have to so this controls the the cannons that see can go that go underground and next you could just yeah bring it back up and, and you can fire right right yeah you could fire it put it back down same thing with the things. These are, oh, I must fix that, I guess. They didn't go down all the way. They only, 
I guess I need to connect that then to switch the second pistons. Or it's just stuck. But yeah, you can just bring it back up. And shoot them. I'm, I'm just going to put them both underground. So this, yeah, it goes right there. That's, f that's the fast one. This is the slower one. This is like... Oh, uh, hold on. I don't know if I could get it or not. I'm trying to check. No, I don't think I could get it. I, I, I don't really have... Um, hold on. Let me check. Let me turn this up for a minute. So. Then you could... This is fast. And you could even see, like, the legs even move that quick. The only thing is, if you do have purple jets... You can use purple jets, but you don't have to. Red jets are still pretty fast, in my opinion, for doing this. For doing this. Oh, look how fast I walk. Imagine if I had a purple jet, though, doing this. If I could even stop it. Okay, now I'm back. So yeah, I'll just make it, I could show you just by making this all invisible. Freaking showing you what it looks like, the back, how it was. And this is how it looked at the star set for these kind of. We're 75% invisible. So it's pretty much going to be the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And peace out. And also hit that subscribe button. Bye.